Welcome to the Voice of Islam. I am your host, Tariq Abdul Majid. The Voice of Islam is a weekly radio program organized by the Islamic Council of Jamaica, the umbrella organization for the Muslim community in Jamaica, to propagate the message of Islam, dispel the common misconceptions about Islam, and facilitate a medium to provide the Islamic perspective on topical issues and alternative solutions. You are listening to the, the Voice, Voice of, of Islam. Islam. Before we begin, let's take a minute to listen to the recitation of verses selected from the final revelation to mankind, Al-Quran. كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون أياما معدودات فمن كان منكم مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر وعلى الذين يطيقونه فدية طعام مسكين فمن تطوع خيرا فهو خير له وأن تصوموا خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصمه وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ I seek refuge with Allah from the accursed enemy, the shaitan. Surah number 2 of the Quran, verses 183 to 185. O you who believe, observing the fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, that you may become conscious and fearful and regardful of the one God. Observing fasts for a fixed number of days but if any of you is ill or on a journey, the same number should be made up from other days. And as for those who can fast with difficulty, they have a choice either to fast or to feed a needy person for every day. But whoever does good of his own accord, it is better for him and that you fast is better for you if only you know. The month of Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed. A guidance for all of mankind and clear proofs for the guidance and as a criterion that which is set to determine between the right from the wrong. So whoever of you cites the crescent on the first night of the month of Ramadan, he must observe the fasting that month. And whoever is ill or on a journey, the same number of days which one did not observe the fast 
must be made up from other days. Allah intends for you ease, and He does not want to make things difficult for you. He wants that you must complete the, day, the same number of days, and that you must magnify Allah for having guided you so that you may be grateful and thankful to Him. You are listening to the voice of Islam. Assalamu alaikum. I greet you with the greeting of peace. Today is a very special day. Yes, it is for those who know the first Sunday in the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. Today is our actual first day of fasting here in Jamaica, as last night we sighted the moon which commenced the month. For you today, listeners, we have a treat. We have from another land, one of our brothers in Islam who will be answering some very interesting questions about our holy month, making it a lot clearer to you today on Voice of Islam. Without further ado, I'll turn over to our guests for today's episode on our special month of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear respected brothers and sisters. My name is uh, Muhammad Iqbal Hussein from uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, I am also have memorized the whole Quran and studied at uh, Cornwall, Ontario called Al Rashid Islamic Institute. I have completed my HIFS and also my Higher Islamic Knowledge course, which is about a se- uh, seven year program which they offer. So, and I've come, we, we came as a group from, from uh, the Madasa has sent a group over here in Jamaica uh, to lead the Talawi prayers in, during the month of Ramadan. We came as a group of seven individuals and uh, we are paired up in different massages around Jamaica to accommodate for the month of Ramadan. Thank you for actually joining us here in Jamaica. Uh, What we want to do is really ask you much more about this special month for Muslims right across the world. Um, So what is Ramadan this year? Ramadan is Islam's holy month of fasting, and it is uh, observed by millions of Muslims around the world for more over than than 14 centuries. As Ramadan has been uh, revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ramadan is also one of the pillars of Islam and uh, it is essential that um, anyone who comes across such a month uh, should observe fasting in this month as fasting has also been uh, stipulated in this blessed month. This month is also the month where the Quran has been revealed and it has been revealed in the night of power which is also in this blessed month in the last 10 days of Ramadan. And this month is also to signify the importance of the, the Qur'an, the Holy Qur'an, which has been revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Excellent, excellent. Uh, thank you, that was very clear. So I'd like to ask you, when exactly is Ramadan? Is it every April 2nd, every April 3rd? So Ramadan is actually the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, which falls every year. And the exact date of when it starts and ends varies depending on the moon sighting. So it could be as of this year, it starts on April 2nd. Next year, it, it could start, you're expecting it to start 10 days back. So there's, it's never a consistent date since uh, the Islamic calendar also follows the lunar calendar. And we do not have a consistent amount of days in a year. You have about 354, 355. So it all varies and depends on the moon sighting. Excellent. Very clear. Now, you said that it's the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. So mm-hmm. how long do you fast? Is it the entire month? How long? Please share. So Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. And as since it is a month, the days can vary since like we follow the lunar calendar, we do not have a consistent uh, amount of days in a month. So we're looking at about 29 to 30 days Ramadan can usually last for. Excellent. All right. So what, what, what does this fast look like? You know, in Jamaica, we have Christians fasting right now um, at what they call the Lenten period where they can, you know, they can eat fish instead of red meat. 
What do you eat in Ramadan um, during the daytime? What, what, what do you eat? Islamic fasting is more like uh, from sunrise, we, ups, we, have a, uh, we have a meal called the suhoor. And in that meal we eat. And after that time has passed, we abstain from drinking and eating and all that stuff throughout the whole day, all the way till sunset, which we partake in a meal called the iftar. And iftar is the meal where we break our fast and we are allowed to eat and drink. So throughout the whole duration between these two periods, we are not allowed to eat and drink anything. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. So you're telling the listeners here in Jamaica that Muslims every year for one entire month go right now 12 hours, over 12 hours without food and drink. Is that yes, correct? Cor yes, correct. Well, I'm sure a lot of people out there are, are marveled by that. So let's go on to our next question, um, Iqbal. Earlier, you told us that fasting varies. Why does Ramadan start at different times and different you know, days each year? Ramadan starts differently because the Islamic calendar follows the lunar calendar. So in a year, we have about 354 to 355 days, as opposed to the solar calendar known as the Gregorian calendar, which is a consistent 365 days. So we can see Ramadan going back every nine to 10 days every year, depending on the moon sighting. So does fasting make you different within your community? Please tell me about it. The experience. Fasting, yeah, fasting necessarily doesn't make us different within our community because everyone, what, uh, despite what religion they follow, Christianity, Jew, Jewish, or Islam, everyone observes some type of fasting. And uh, whether that fasting be a religious reason or a health reason, everyone ob observes some type of fasting. And in terms of our social interactions with people and the community specifically, the fasting does not really hinder us in our day-to-day -day interactions, especially with the people of the community, whether it be at school or at work or any type of volunteering you're doing out in the public, uh, fasting does not prevent us from these uh, interactions. Okay, great. Thank you. Now, we hear you say, you know, fasting doesn't make you different, but is there a certain class of Muslims that, that should fast? Or is it all Muslims? Should all Muslims fast during the month of Ramadan? Uh, uh, should all Muslims fast during the month of Ramadan? Well, basically, uh, fasting is obligatory on everyone. It is made fard upon everyone, but specifically those who are uh, have reached the age of maturity, who are banil, who are aqil, basically sane, and who are of good health, and obviously those who are Muslim. And there are exemptions do apply to those who are sick, elderly, women who are pregnant, or going through uh, menstrual cycles. So there's one that you mentioned, um, which is the woman that is pregnant or expecting a baby. Please tell me, if a woman is pregnant, does she have to fast? No, oh, not necessarily. A woman who is pregnant does not necessarily have to fast because she is pregnant. Obviously, she's carrying a child. But if she has some, uh, she should also consult her uh, physician or doctor and uh, inquire about fasting. And if there's going to be potential harm to that baby, then obviously that is a reason to not fast. But if it's an early during the pregnancy and the doctor advises that she, she can fast and she has the energy and capability to do so, then there's no problem with that. So you mentioned a while ago that pregnant women must not fast or are exempted. Uh, so can they fast at all if they want to or is it harmful for them when they're expecting a child? The pregnant woman can fast, but like I said, she has to consult her doctor and physician. If there is going to be potential harm to that child, then she should not fast. Thank you so very much. Uh, so Ramadan is a month of uh, fasting. So after this fasting ends, what happens? What, what, what's, do you just go back to eating food? What, what, what ends this fast? What ends this fast are, is a blessed day called Eid. And, uh, Allah has blessed us with two Eids, 
but this, this, the, the specific Eid that comes after the month of Ramadan is called Eid al-Fitr, which happens at the end of Ramadan to celebrate the ending of the month of fasting. We, have, we are fasting throughout the whole month, and this day we get at the end of the month uh, is a celebration to show our gratitude and, our, uh, and the acceptance of this month. And uh, during these days, uh, we have friends, we go visit family, friends, we have, we all get together, we, we have like a feast, we exchange gifts, wear nice clothing, attend the Eid Salah and all that stuff. Great. So now we're at the end, but before we go, I, it sounds so interesting and I'm sure a lot of persons will be intrigued by this this month-long fast, but what's the energy level like? What, how do you feel when you fast? What's the effect of Ramadan on your body? How do you feel when you're fasting? Please share. Our fasting, like, does it affect our energy? Um, because our bodies conserve our energy during fasting, so we become efficient throughout, our, uh, throughout the day using our energy in moderation. So during our normal diet on a regular day, we're eating meals, so our body tends to convert that food into fats, protein, and energies. And it's constantly doing that as opposed to if we're fasting, we're only doing that in the, uh, at one period, which is when we have the support time. So our body kind of, you're kind of telling your body, okay, I'm not going to be eating after this. So it needs to conserve the energy and obviously boosting our natural energy levels so we can get through our day until the next meal. Excellent. So basically, you're saying that you are your usual self, and in some cases, more efficient. Sounds very interesting. And I'm sure that a lot of persons will be intrigued by this interview. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us about your month of uh, fasting? Um, yeah, I would like uh, to mention that also kind of add on to the whole energy thing and fasting. Well, obviously, if we have work, which requires a lot of physical and strenuous activities, we may see that uh fasting is um uh well it's not going to give us that very much a lot of that energy wow that was a very interesting interview so iqbal please tell us uh you know how how long are you going to be here are you going to be here with us the entire ramadan yes i will be here for the entire month of ramadan and uh up until I'm pretty sure the 27th, if not mistaken, uh, 30th of Ramadan, inshallah. Wow. So you'll basically be spending Ramadan with the Muslims here in Jamaica. So as you mentioned that name earlier, which I'm sure a lot of persons in Radio Lab aren't quite aware, Hafiz, it means that you know the entire Quran. So what will you be doing? Will you be sharing your knowledge of the Quran, reading, reciting? Uh, please tell us what you'll be doing here. My main purpose here is to, be, is to uh, stand and lead the, uh, the community of Jamaica in uh, Talawi prayers, where I will be reciting the uh, certain amounts of the Quran through my memory every day in order to complete the full recitation of the whole Quran in this blessed month of Ramadan. And uh, I did not come alone. We came with a few brothers also. They are covering different areas also in Jamaica. And uh, obviously, I'm trying to interact with the, uh, the community, uh, spend some time with them um, to share the knowledge that I have, uh, I have with me and also to spread love and uh, acceptance. Excellent. Excellent. So if we want to hear you, uh, where will you be? Where do persons hear you recite the entire Muslim holy book? So um, I am will be leading the Tarawih prayers at the Central Masjid of Jamaica, which is located in Kingston. Yeah, if you are planning on to come by, please do. And you will find me there. Excellent. So you will be at 24 Camp Road at the Central Masjid in Kingston, Jamaica, for the month of Ramadan, reciting, leading the Muslims in prayer completing the entire Muslim holy book, the Quran, the final revelation. 
Thank you so very much, Iqbal. Thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you for answering our questions. And thank you for being here with us here in Jamaica to help us have a holistic, wonderful, blessed Ramadan. Thank you. Wayakum jazakumullah khair for having me. It was an it's an honor and it's a pleasure for being here. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You are listening to the Voice of Islam. Thank you all for listening to the Voice of Islam, a weekly radio program organized by the Islamic Council of Jamaica to propagate the message of Islam, dispel the common misconceptions about Islam and facilitate a medium to provide Islamic perspective on topical issues and alternative solutions. Remember, you may collect a free Quran, yes, a free Quran by emailing us, sending a text message, or visiting any of our locations. Please send in your questions and comments to islamradiojm at gmail.com. That's I-S-L-A-M radio J-M at gmail.com or by text message to 892-1350. That's 892-1350. You may also visit our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Islamic Council of Jamaica or find us on Instagram at ICOJ underscore official or you may listen to a past episode on our YouTube channel, Islamic Council of Jamaica. You may also visit any of the following locations. Islamic Council of Jamaica, 24 Camp Road, Kingston 4. Masjidul Aziz, Portmore Central Plaza, West Tradeway, Portmore. Masjidul Rahman, Windsor Road, Spanish Town. Islamic Dawah Center, 1 Makati Street, Montego Bay. Masjidul Hakim, 138 Main Street, Ochrios. Masjid al Sabr, Albany, St. Mary. Masjid Hussein, Three Miles River, West Milan. Masjid al Haq, New Green Road, Mandeville. Masjid al Nur, Port Maria, St. Mary. Masjid al Ihsan, West End Road, Negril. Masjid al Taqwa, Newell, St. Elizabeth. Masjid Ibrahim, Riversdale, St. Catherine. Masjid al Sakina, 26 Miriam Way, Montego Bay. Peace be upon you all. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>